Hmm. Rob, does Ben have a point? I tell you what, no. Uh, this is the most competitive league there is. And there's there every year people are drafted at everybody's positions, you know, and it's called being competitive and things like that. That's a that is a very immature attitude to have and say, oh, it's win now, whatever. Pittsburgh is one of the most professional organizations, you know, in football. They've won more Super Bowls and they've done it for a reason. Uh, you you think back, they, they're gonna draft the best player. They draft Cam Hayward. Cam Hayward's going to a defensive line where they have three all pros on it. Mm -hmm. In a three four defense. That's everyone's an all pro. Mm -hmm. All right. He sits on the bench for two years, ends up now he's a perennial pro bowler. Is that a wasted pick? I don't think so. Right. Heinz Ward, a third-round pick, who was supposed to be a first-rounder like, like uh, this quarterback was. He falls all the way to third round because he doesn't have an ACL in one of his legs. All right, he had to sit on the bench for a year. Well, how'd that work? Mm -hmm. He's a Hall of Fame receiver. So Ben needs to play quarterback, which he does really, really well, right. and let his teammates, let those guys select the best players for their team. And watch this big kid develop. Mm. The only point Ben has is on top of his head, Joy. And unfortunately, <laughs> that's, not the point we were trying to, that's not the point we're trying to make. Skip, I here's the thing. It. This is what we know about great franchises. Great franchises that's run, that's run really well. Yep. What they do is that they find replacement to players before the player actually walks out of the door. Mm -hmm. So Ben Roethlisberger would like to see it because no matter what anybody tells you, when a quarterback leaves, they like to see the team struggle. Mm -hmm. Because you know why, Skip? It was because of me. We're having success because I was doing my thing. Well, here's the thing, Brian, that the Steelers are up against. Every other Friday, you're talking about retiring. So what do they do? Do they wait till you actually walk out the door before they try to find an adequate replacement? Who knows? All of a sudden, you might fall back in love with motorcycles again and hop on one with no helmet, and, and there you go through a windshield. Mm. Or you might take a road trip. There are a lot of college campuses open, you know, this time of year, so we never know. The Steelers have to prepare for what is in the best interest of the Steelers. Because guess what Ben is doing, Skip? Preparing for what's in the best interest of Ben Roethlisberger. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't, he doesn't owe Mason Rudolph anything. But let me tell you how I did it, Skip. I felt that if when they drafted Todd Heap, I felt if I got injured at any point during the season and yep. Todd, had, Todd Heap had to play, if he wasn't ready, it was my fault. Because I was in the room with Todd Heap every day. The, not the quarterback's coach, not the head coach, not the offensive coordinator. It was Shannon Sharp's job to share with Todd Heap the little nuances of what I've learned through the years and what could help him be successful. Did you? I absolutely did. And the one thing I told him is that never get beat in a game with what you've seen on tape. If you see it on tape, you don't get caught with that. Yep. If they show you something, they get to practice just like we do, Todd. Mm -hmm. But they're going to come up with something. Just react. And play football. But Were you offended or hurt when they took him in the first round? I was neither, because they had they had they had made me financially secure for the rest of my life, and they put my kids through college. So I was nothing. I think when Ozzy told me they were going to release me, I said, Ozzy, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to show that I was more than the West Coast offense. I was more than Mike Shanahan and John Elway. I thanked him. Ben, you don't it had to hurt your pride a little bit, just a little bit. I was, You're I, a competitor. I, I, I was thinking, like, okay, so now what do I do? Are they telling me because? I, I, but Skip, I had gone to the Pro Bowl. I, me and Tony Gonzalez tied for the most catches. I was in year twelve. Tony, I think, was in year year five or six. We had tied for the most catches for tight ends in the NFL. So I felt I could still play, but I understood. Skip, they took this guy in the first round. They didn't take him in the first round to sit for two years. They took him in the first round to sit for a year. Mm -hmm. I get it. Ben, if just think, if something were to happen to you, mm -hmm. the only reason yep. that the Philadelphia Eagles are Super Bowl champs is because they had a guy that prepared. Mm -hmm. Ben, if something were to happen to you and Mason Rudolph has to play, yep. and you being selfish, like I'm not teaching him anything because he made a joke, well, since he don't know, you know, since I don't know him anything, if he asks me a question, I'm just gonna point to the playbook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that gets laughs right now. But if that guy has to play, then what? Okay. You won't be laughing. So Ben is suggesting publicly that Kevin Colbert, the GM, lied to him ahead of the draft because he told Kevin Colbert, I'm good to play for three to five years, and he says Colbert assured him, I will not take a quarterback in the draft. That's what Ben says. I think Kevin Colbert meant not high, not right. in the first round, right? right? Exactly. I'm not going to take one of the stud quarterbacks and right. say, we're, we're on a fast track to right. replace you, Right. right? 
So what happens in the draft? They take that Terrell Edmonds when the, with their first round pick, the linebacker, safety? or so, yeah, safety. Safety. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then they get to the second round. You're going to take a second round quarterback? No, you're going to take that quarterback's receiver. You're going to take James Washington from Oklahoma State, who caught all the deep ball right. touchdown passes from Mason Rudolph. Give you some help, okay? So you you got yeah, you gave that to Ben Roth, but a new toy, and he will be a toy yeah. to be reckoned with. So, you gave him Juju Smith-Schuster a year ago. That worked out pretty well, right? right? So, here's another weapon for your arsenal. You got a whole array of wide receivers. You you gave up Martavis, obviously, to Oakland. So, here we go, and it goes to the third round, and Kevin Colbert's looking at his board saying, I got a first-round grade on Mason Rudolph, like a later first-round grade. And he's just doing what draft masters do, and he's pretty good at the draft. And he says... I don't have any choice. I got to take him with my third round pick. Yeah. And Ben saying, "Well, you cost me another player. Well, you got one for the defense, and now one for the receiving core." Well, Kevin Colbert should say, "You cost me an offensive coordinator yeah. because the greatest years of your career was under Todd Haley, yeah. and basically you threatened to retire if he wasn't gone." So yeah. then what? Uh, ben, you at Ben, you at like you see Ben. See, this is what I'm starting to see about Ben. Ben really wants to accept no culpability when anything goes wrong but he wants all the praise heat when everything goes right. Ben, Todd Haley is out of there. Your best seasons yep. happened under him. You got two, you're the only guy with two 500-yard passing games under Todd Haley's watch. Okay. Your best numbers are under Todd Haley. But for whatever reason, both of you guys are stubborn, you're bullheaded, you want to do your thing. But the Steelers owe you nothing, Ben. The Steelers so got to help do me out. When was the last time Ben Roethlisberger beat Tom Brady head-to-head? I don't know. I so how much cachet do you have if you can't beat that guy one time? You're just owned by the New England Patriots, right? Let me ask yeah. you a question. As we're starting to see, you think Bill Belichick goes to Tom Brady and tell him who we drafted? Aaron Rodgers is upset because they didn't tell him about they were getting rid of Jordy Nelson or letting his quarterbacks coach go Alex Van Pelt. Mm. So you got no more cachet than them. You think, you think Sean Payton is telling, hey, Drew, what you think we should draft in the first or the second <laughs> round this year? Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody got that kind of service. Ben, you th- do you actually believe that the Steelers owe you that much that they need to tell you who they're going to select and when they're going to select them? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.